Road infrastructure development is a critical component of every country's economic progress. Currently, roads which handle more than 70% of internal freight and 99% of passenger traffic in Malawi are the country's most dominant mode of transport. That is why government is prioritizing the sector as it seeks to create sustainable development for a country whose economy is agro-based and can be optimally supported by an improved road network. Apart from road maintenance and construction projects that government is funding using local resources, there are partners like the African Development Bank which are supporting several road construction, reconstruction and rehabilitation projects. Minister of Transport and Public Works Japi Mohango says it is government's wish to maximize the potential that an improved road network has on the country's economic development by ensuring that all economically significant roads are either constructed, reconstructed or rehabilitated. According to Mhango, already the roads that have been constructed are boosting trade in communities along them and those that they connect. If you have got a good road network, you are sure that uh, goods are going to move easily uh, within time but also a movement of people will also be improved. So the importance of roads to any economy do not require any emphasis. Uh, for the past three years, uh, government has embarked on 11 major road infrastructure development projects. So I think in terms of uh, uh, road uh, uh, infrastructure, government is doing a lot of work in that uh, area. The African Development Bank Group commenced operations in Malawi in 1972, eight years after the country gained its independence. In line with its overarching objective of sparring sustainable economic development and social progress and reducing poverty in its regional member countries, the bank has invested over $1 billion on concessionary terms in all sectors of Malawi's economy. Its country manager for Malawi, engineer Frank Vula, observes that there is a very cordial relationship between the bank and the Malawi government. There have been over 148 uh, operations uh, covering the key areas as uh, espoused in the uh, bank's uh, strategy. And uh, these are in the areas of uh, uh, power and light up Africa, uh, feed Africa, uh, industrialize Africa, improve the quality of health of Africa, and integrate uh, Africa. And uh, a number of these projects are in the transport and energy sector, water and sanitation, agriculture development, public and financial management. And uh, I have no doubt the cooperation between the bank and the government of Malawi has been cordial, and Malawi and the bank regard each other as partners of choice and a trusted partner. In the infrastructure sector, Malawi has seen and continues seeing several roads being constructed and reconstructed with funding from the bank and the roads authority as the implementing agency with the main purpose of facilitating trade and economic development. Mhango hails the African Development Bank as a good partner in Malawi's development, particularly in the road infrastructure sector. Currently, we have uh, an, an, an understanding where the bank will be supporting the rehabilitation of the road from uh, Rwanda coming to Sipe in, uh, uh, in, uh, on the M1. Uh, that's a very, very important uh, road too. You know, um, uh, the M1 is, is a very important road to the country. Most of our goods also use that road uh, from uh, Blanta coming to Lirongwe or Lirongwe to Blanta, if Mozambique getting to Malawi and so on. So it's a very, very important road. And the bank has actually agreed that uh, there will be are supporting us with that project. The Ntwara Development Corridor aims to provide road, railway and waterway access from the surrounding region to the port of Ntwara, which is located in southern Tanzania. Malawi being a landlocked country with no seaport of its own relies on several entry and exit points on the sea including the Ntwara port which can also be easily accessed through a modern road network. That is where the reconstruction of the 47 kilometers Mzuzum Katabe road pegged at 16.78 billion kwacha 
becomes an important aspect of the Ntwara Development Project which is involving Tanzania, Mozambique, Malawi and Zambia. As District Commissioner of Nkata Bay, Alex Mdoko observes, the road whose reconstruction is expected to be completed in less than five months is already proving economically significant as it has improved trade between Mzuzu and the Lakeshore District. The transport hub that exists between Mzuzu and Nkata Bay facilitates that movement of goods like fish from Nkata Bay because our main right to, to the city is Mzuzu. Our main export is fish to Mzuzu. But also you have crops uh, like produce like maize, uh, cassava, but also goes to Mzuzu. So being the nearest city, I think most of the banks as well, Standard Bank, National Bank, they are in Mzuzu. So I think Mzuzu, uh, Kadabe residents mainly, they, they go to Mzuzu as their nearest city. Kadabe is a tourist district, and uh, mainly we rely on tourism. Tourists usually rely, they, they come from Mzuzu, and from Mzuzu, the distance, though 40 something kilometers, it was as if it is 100 kilometers because the travel time was more than one hour because of the potholes and uh, all those bins that were there. And the road was a bit narrow. And I think uh, with time, it even became narrower so that for the vehicles to pass one another from either direction, even to overtake, it was a nightmare. Roads Authority Chief Executive Officer Engineer Emmanuel Matapa hails the quality of the road, which he notes is of international standards. The shoulders are two meters wide on both sides to take care of uh, safety issues and unmotorized traffic. Uh, the road itself is uh, 6.8 meters wide. Um, that is a 3. Point, about 3.4 uh, each lane. Sitting on 40 millimeter asphalt is sitting on the crushed stone base, uh, which is also sitting on a compacted gravel. Uh, it's uh, of high quality. We feel this is one of the important uh, project, not necessarily because it's on corridor, but here within the country it is supporting mining. Uh, we have uh, Kazuiziwi, Nchenga coal mine up north. It is uh, supporting timber, their trade. Uh, we have Chikangawa, Vizara estates in the north. Uh, it is supporting tourism uh, because uh, it is also part of the M3, which uh, connects the northern region of Malawi to the southern through the center. I uh, show Lakeshore districts of Katabet South, uh, Kota Kota, and Salima. In Malawi, poor conditions of roads have partly been blamed for accidents which claim thousands of lives every year. Thus, improving the quality of these roads is key to reducing these accidents. A minibus driver, Francis Nkata, who uses the road daily on average, says already the nearly 40 kilometers stretch whose surfacing has been completed is proving convenient as the threats of accidents have been minimized. <laughs> Now, because of the good quality of the road, where reconstruction works have been finished, it is taking us a short time to drive between Nzuzu and Katabe. Before the work started, we could take a lot of time to travel between these two places because the road had a lot of potholes and bends. Sustainable Development Goal number 8 aims to promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. This is what the ADB-funded projects in Malawi aim to achieve. Engineer Mvula states that currently the bank is in the process of preparing a strategy paper for Malawi to cover the period of 2018 to 2022. 